Listen, because the answer is very simple. It's not complicated. You're not okay inside. I know we don't like to think like that. We're really together people. No, you're not. You're not okay inside. You're not okay inside. You're scared, you're insecure, self-conscious, you're embarrassed. You, all kinds of stuff has happened in your life that made you uncomfortable. And basically inside, it's not so much fun all the time. Sometimes it's uncomfortable. You feel you have to prove yourself. You feel, whatever, I don't have to tell you, you're in there. Or, or do you want to tell me that you wake up in the morning in a state of absolute ecstasy, just waves of joy and love pouring through your entire being and every single second of your life, that's what it's like? I didn't think so. It can be, by the way. It should be. That's what it's meant to be. Inside, we have stored things that have bothered us. What? Everything. <laughs> Everything that ever bothered us, we kept inside. Why? Because we didn't want to experience it. We had an argument, the parents did this, that happened, that happened, whatever it is, big things, little things, they're difficult. They don't feel good when they come in. We don't want to not feel good. Therefore, we do a very stupid thing. We use our will inside to push them away so they don't come too close to us. We don't want to feel it. It's uncomfortable. So we push it away. I'm telling you, I'm promising, I'm assuring you, when you use your inner hands to push away these vibrations of reality that are coming in and you push them away, they stay inside of you. Why? Because you said they couldn't pass. You've actually pushed them away so they stay. Don't they stay? You remember things that happen when you were five, don't you? Think somebody says something that reminds me of my father. Your father's dead for 20 years. This is a woman who said it. Why does she remind you of your father? Uh, just the way she curled the edge of her lips. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing with that stuff in there? What happens to that stuff when you keep it in there? It stays in there. And what happens is you build blockages inside yourself. That's how you build your mind out of that stuff you stored. And then when events happen outside and they come in, you don't get to experience them. They hit your stuff. I they call it your stuff. They hit your stuff first. And so you get this reaction, don't you? Your reaction of uncomfortable or comfortable or like or dislike, all that junk. That's your old stuff coming back up. That's why everybody is different. What you like scares the hell out of you. What you like, you know, I have nothing to do with, I assure you. So basically, everyone's different because they've all had different experiences and they've all stored different stuff. It's not comfortable having all this stuff in there. Why would it be comfortable having everything that ever bothered you still inside of you? It's not comfortable. So you have to do something about it to make it be comfortable because you're not comfortable. And what you do is you use your mind to make up a world that if this happened, I'd be okay. If she was this way, if he was this way, if he didn't leave the toilet seat up, if this happened, if that happened, if he opened the door for me like he used to, whatever the heck it is, you just make up all these things based upon your past experiences that were either comfortable or uncomfortable to you. And that's where you get this mindset of how you want things to be. It is the antithesis or the complement, if you will, of the junk that you stored inside. So you now bring into the moment this mindset of how you think if things were that way, you would feel better. And you bring that into what I've talked about so far, which is the reality of the unfolding of the universe. They have nothing to do with each other. Nothing, <laughs> right? There's not a single atom in creation that asks you how you want things to be. Yet it knows exactly how to be. It will be in accordance to the laws of physics, chemistry, psychology, all of it. It will manifest. And you're in there making up, based on your past experiences, how the world should be, how she should act, and how close she should sit next to him, and, and whether people in the elevator should stand close to you or not, or et cetera, and whether they use dial, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just everything. Just make up all these things. And I'm telling you, that's where it comes from. Are you willing to understand that? So in other words, it's absurd. What we are doing is absurd to make that up based on our personal past experiences and then try to superimpose that on top of the moment that's in front of you, expecting it to be that way. I'm sure you've noticed it isn't that way. Then what we do about it, instead of saying, well, that was stupid, I'm going to stop doing that so I can appreciate and honor the moment, we say, we have ways. Okay, Adolf, we're going to make it be that way. It's going to be the way. You never meet people like that. They're going to make it be their way. That's fun, isn't it? I'm going to impose what I have decided it should be, and you better get with the program. It's ugly, isn't it? That's what wars are about. That's where all disharmony on the entire planet is about. Everything is you're not okay. You've decided how it needs to be or better not be for you to be okay or not be worse. And now you're out there fighting. You're bringing your will to fight with reality to try and make it be your way. And it causes all kinds of suffering, all kinds of turmoil. 
I'm serious. That is where it comes from. So a wise person, even though the rest of the people are not going to do it, it doesn't matter. A wise person says, I don't want to do that anymore. That doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> I don't want to live my life fighting with everything, worrying about everything. Oh my God. They start giving anxiety pills that kids are 10 years old nowadays. Oh my God. That's unbelievable. That's ridiculous. This is where it comes from. You think a 10 year old hasn't figured out how it needs to be for them to be okay? And now that they're fighting to make it that way, bring up a child. I hope you've brought up a child. It starts really early. Thank you.